<clears throat> All right. We're doing a one take for this. Uh, we'll just see how this goes. Unedited run for chimps on off the road, I think this map is. <clears throat> Something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off the early game with Sada, and there won't be much going on for a while, actually. So I'm just going to be pretty good on this map just because of the map going back and forth. Or sorry, it going back and then looping back around. Which will allow a lot in the in the options that we're able to use. So Sada will be very important. Also, I'm going to be uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be testing out a new strategy here, just because they buffed the uh, the cluster bomb a little bit, and it's a little it's a little powerful. So we're going to try out a couple of cluster bombs here, and uh, mostly mess around with primary monkeys, primary expertise. Just a lot like that. <clears throat> Something else I'd like to get is a... Either a Moab Domination or a Super Glue. We'll see when we get there. <laughs> no, the ability was not necessary. I just felt like using it. <clears throat> So we're actually going to get three 203 bomb shooters all around this Ben Wasada. <clears throat> but what made them so good in this update is that now they can pop black balloons, which was honestly one of the bigger problems before from what my understanding is. I don't know, I just didn't use bomb shooters much before. Except for maybe Mauler Spam, but I know that was kind of the point of this uh, change, so... We got our second bomb shooter coming on down. Let's get this third one and we should be good for a while. Camel balloons will be a problem, that's why we are going to focus on a villager blue next. <clears throat> glue doesn't do much as far as camo, but it'll help. <laughs> not not with the camo, it'll just help in general, so uh That's what we got. Alright, let's start getting ready to get this village down. Yes, my dog. 
Radar Scanner and Jungle Drums are going to be some of our better options here. I don't think there's any more camos that we need to worry about for the next Intel post round 40. So we're just going to get this primary training up. Raider scan is going to be next. The Moab's just decimated like that. Go ahead and get the primary mentoring down, and now we are going to save it a little bit. Neither good for primary expertise, or we're going to get glue in case things start to overwhelm. As you can see, though, the cluster bombs are doing a significant amount of control on the balloons. And while the mobs are a little dangerous, they are not the scariest thing. We're going to go ahead and put down two bomb shooters in the blue for later. Just in case we do need to do any burst upgrading. First tiers are free, so uh, <clears throat> just gonna get those ready, I guess. With primary expertise, the first two tiers are free, so I'm going to try and wait off a little bit because it will save money, even if just a little. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Now all these balloons look really dangerous, but the bombs are just... Bombs are good. If you want to do a more effective version of this, with a little bit of a harder early game, I guess, I mean, it's an easy map, it shouldn't be that hard. <clears throat> Go ahead and start off with Striker Jones, because he will buff bomb shooters for the late game, and it is pretty significant of a buff too. There we go, primary expertise is ready. Go ahead and get those other two clusters up. We're gonna get a Moab blue as well. Now something I am going to go ahead and put down. This will help us a lot for the like really late game. We're going to try and get in a Moab Eliminator for one of our bottom tier, or uh, one of our other fifth tiers. <clears throat> An enemy red from battle. Uh, 
Something a little weird I'm going to try and do with this strategy, though. I'm going to squeeze in a second village. What's the point of the village? We're going to get a discount. Even if it's just a little bit of a small discount, we get a 15% discount for all the top three, or all the first three tiers. So that 300, or sorry, 3,000, I think 600-ish Moab Blue is 3,120 now. We should be able to make an overall profit by the end if we keep this up. Alright. We're going to try and get eight of the cluster bombs down now. Really, this is our whole strategy. Alright, now this really should be good enough for us to save our Moab Eliminator. After that, Moab Eliminator is going to help us take care of any super strong fortified ZOMGs. It's going to help us take care of things like... The bad balloon at the end. So we're just going to start holding out for Moab Eliminator. I am slightly worried about ZOMGs, but with the Moab Assassin ability to help everything out, we should be okay. Also, Relentless Blue is always an option to buy. I don't know if I will anytime soon, but definitely not before Moab Eliminator. But defense should be steady. Just keep buying cluster bombs if you need to. <laughs> the range of a primary expertise is pretty large. And also primary expertise is really good for defense. It's kind of absurd. Round 80 around the corner, we are a little over halfway there for the Moblin. We should have it reasonably within the... I'd say sometime within the next 8 rounds, at most. I don't remember the exact, uh, exact amount from each round that you get, so... Yeah. <laughs> Seventy seven providing us a lot of money. All the ceramic coming out of the Moabs. Supplying us with that little ceramic rush there. 79 is coming in now. And Moab Eliminator is ours.
We can always go for super glue next. That could be funny. But a 024 glue would be enough. I mean, 023 was already enough, but 024 definitely secure than we need. A3 is coming in. Ceramics rolling around. Absolutely nothing for our recursive clusters. Not recursive clusters. Cluster bombs. Recursive clusters next here. It's even more bonkers. I think, I honestly think that we are going to go for the the super glue. We only need about 6k more. ZOMG? Two of them? Nothing. Easy defeat. Thank you, Mob Eliminator. I don't know if this ability is, uh, affects the targeting. I mean, it should be on strong anyway. Also, super blue. Oh. Targeting does affect the ability. Cool. <laughs> Alright, we've only got one thing left to do. Let's get these bomb shooters stronger. DDT stopped right in their tracks. Round 95. This is going to hit my abilities just to be safe, but we once again should be okay. Go ahead and put a sniper up here. Sniper will be set to strong. We're gonna get more Moab stunning power. ZOMGs can barely move around with the super lift. On 97, fortified ZOMGs. And the glue has taken hold again. Round 98. There you go. Main Moab has been set up now. Gonna go ahead and get an Arctic, Arctic Wind for backup.
Snowstorm. And here we go. The bad balloon. Not much to worry about. With everything here, ready to take it down. It's just two of the OMGs. Reduced to nothing. How fitting, a bomb shooter insta monkey. And that is chimps using primarily bomb shooters. Thank you all for coming. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.